The Researcher Development Network is a cross-faculty, interdisciplinary network of early to mid-career researchers at the University of Manchester. Uh, it was established in 2016 by the Health Services Research Centre at Alliance Manchester Business School. It's a group of researchers that collaborate to provide peer support for each other. Making them aware of other people, making them aware of resources, but also kind of giving them um, kind of provisions to develop their own careers, but kind of tailoring it to their, their research area. The Researcher Development Network um, addresses a gap um, in support for researchers. It provides us with some voice and some visibility with more senior academics and with the institution in terms of creating more opportunities for researchers and addressing some of the issues that researchers face that are not necessarily visible um, or on the agenda for the university either. What we thought was through the Researcher Development Network we could actually engage with our research staff and particularly those at early mid-career levels who face a range of difficulties so uh, most early to mid-career researchers are employed on fixed term contracts um, and that brings with it a whole range of difficulties. What the Research Development Network does is offers people that support when they're within the university but irrespective of kind of the project they're on or the department they're within so it helps them kind of build up and have access to those resources irrespective of kind of the lack of permanency as long as they're within the university itself. I've had some informal peer mentoring from a more senior researcher and have been able to ask questions that I wouldn't feel able to ask um, a more senior academic it might have been things to do with, you know, can I write something as a book chapter and a journal article, or which one should I go for? Through a variety of engagement initiatives with researchers and by developing a programme of researcher-led activities, I think that that's really given a voice to the researcher cause. We've noticed that we're able to sit at tables that we weren't able to sit at before and participate in discussions that wouldn't have been open to us. People asking questions about how to approach things on research proposals, people asking for feedback on writing, organising paper workshops and getting feedback from senior academics has been part of that. I've been able to find out that somebody has expertise in a particular method and I've got a, an opportunity to, to make contact with them because the network's there. I think one of the really important things about the Research Development Network is that it's open to all researchers. It's not something that tries to be pigeonholed as something for early career researchers. Someone like me is not an early career researcher, but I think it's really important. It tries to engage with some of the structural issues that affect researchers who are on research contracts rather than researchers who are on lecturer contracts. So I think it's really important to engage with staff who are on other contracts uh, to try and get them to help us to integrate researchers together, work more collegiately and to develop uh, our careers. It's about increasing opportunities and in increasing our voice really.